everybody. Our next guests are part of an upcoming performance from Apex Theater in partnership with the Ponte Vedra Concert Hall. And the show is the well-loved off-Broadway classic, Godspell. We are super, super happy, and we are going to welcome the vocal coach and co-producer of the show, Matt Morgan, and actor Joshua Johnson. Thank you so much for being hey, here, guys. Hey, welcome to the show. Glad glad to be here. Yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> We're lucky to have you. Stop Apex you support, we see it. Yes. Yes. Full front and center, and center there. So tell us about Godspell, for people who don't know what it is. It's the feel-good show of the summer. Get your tickets now before yes. they go. It is fantastic. You can bring the whole family. It tells uh, uh, the stories, the parables from the Bible, uh, but you don't have to necessarily be religious to enjoy it. Uh, and it's got a wonderful cast of young stars uh, led by Josh, who will be playing the role of Jesus. Yes. Who is the main lead, and we wow, also in the Josh. So young. <laughs> yeah, Josh, Josh uh, uh, is a graduate of uh, Douglas Anderson School of the Arts oh, and is DA. headed to, yes. <laughs> to start his BFA in musical theater at CCM. Since What's a BFA? Bachelor's in Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Okay, mm -hmm. that would be nothing I would know about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more. Know. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit more about the actors that are involved? So we've got uh, uh, Josh. We've got a BFA student, uh, Billy Speed, who also a grad from uh, DA, but now is getting his BFA uh, at Oklahoma City yeah. University. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, students from all across Northeast Florida that auditioned and interviewed. Uh, for the production and won their spots uh, so from schools all over the, the three counties. So is there an age cap? Uh, pro around sophomore in college would be Billy and that'd be the top and then the, our youngest participants of freshmen in high school. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. So Josh, yes. you feel any pressure with the role that you're playing? <laughs> That's a little unusual. It's, 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 a, it's a little bit of pressure but um, I actually jumped in for like the last week of rehearsal. I was in Massachusetts doing uh, West Side Story. Oh wow! Um, up there, and I jumped in for the last week of rehearsal. So I got the script mailed to me, and I jumped right in. And I am currently still learning lines, <laughs> so we are, <laughs> but we are doing it, and it's so much fun to do. Um, our production really, like like he said, you don't necessarily have to be religious to enjoy it because we take it and we put it in the setting of a school, and so Jesus is a substitute teacher and all the disciples are his students. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just so much fun. We get to play around. There's so many little ad-libs and jokes and stories that we create ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I really found that like it's such a family in, the, in this group of people, like people that I've seen come into DA and now I'm leaving DA, people that I've seen in middle school and that was the last time I saw them, they're now in the show with me. Oh. It's just really great to reconnect That's with all of them. That's awesome. Well, you talk about learning your lines. Do you have a technique for learning all of those lines since now you're jumping in at the last minute and cram, trying to cram, learn cram, them? Cram, 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 cram. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. But, That's so um, yeah. Usually a whole lot of repetition and just really studying the show, watching it. I was fortunate enough to see the revival of it on Broadway um, with Corbin Blue. And so like knowing the show kind of gave me a nice little back background information on how to approach it. But other than that, it really is just studying the material. So it's lines and singing. Lines and singing. Okay. How similar is it to, you know, the, the traditional original off-Broadway show? Is it, are, like, did you guys kind of add your own touches in? The, it's, uh, yeah, the, this production is completely unique and just built for this cast, and it's very different. If you have seen it before, this is different than what you've seen, so you can really enjoy it. Uh, the music arrangements we're, we're using are more of the original uh, cast as opposed to the most recent, recent revival, mm -hmm. which I tend to like, and uh, it's uh, pretty fantastic. Nice. Yeah. You know, we've had so many people to come on the show that's been a product of DA. What is it about that school where it is just producing some <laughs> diamonds, baby? It really is the training. It, it, there's, there's nothing like it. You know, you, there's nothing like going to school for however many hours a day and just committing to a craft. And you have to be so dedicated to that craft to have a passion for it and it really fosters that passion. Like I found for myself at DA that I found how to train in musical theater throughout and uh, throughout life mm -hmm. and navigate it with friends and build and build connections. And I think that DA is just really great at teaching children how to find their path. So is this something you want to do? This is, is this your career? This is what I would love to do. Okay. I, I love it, and I, this is the career path I have. You don't want a nine to five job? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, if you're dying eight hours a day, what, what's your yeah. feelings on working eight hours a day? What do you think? Well, I, should we have that? Well, I do theater, so <laughs> it's all day, all night. It's all day, all night. Uh -huh. like, it's, a, it's a lifestyle. Good. <laughs> all right, well, Matt, what makes the partnership between Apex Theater and Ponte Vedra Concert Hall so special? Well, the uh, the concert hall, as you know, is known for bringing. Uh, a, 
pop acts and uh, folk acts and all those sort of things, but they don't have a theater component. And it's to, to be able to bring that to the audience down there, because it is somewhat isolated from coming into, I mean, you have to like get a hotel to go into Jacksonville and see a show. Uh, we're able to really fill a need uh, in that market and bring this art form, which is very specific and very different to those audiences. Awesome. Well, we're going to go ahead and give you a little taste. So thank you, Matt and Josh, for coming. But before we go, we are going to give you a little sneak preview of Apex Theater Studios' Godspell. All right, let's do it, Josh. Come on, come through. Sing us the tone. Woo! <laughs> we may not reach the ending, but we can start slowly but truly mending brick by brick, heart by heart. city of 